Hello, in this video I will show you why you should not backtest your trading new strategies using Heiki Nashi candles. Uh, I will do this by a very simple example. So here I have Bitcoin USD pairs, one hour chart, Heiki Nashi candles. And here I have super simplistic um, strategy. This is just a simple mode average crossover strategy. I will add this to chart and let's see what performance will look like. And performance seems to be just perfect. We have really nice net profits. We have very small maximum dropdown and equity line is just perfect. But is this backtesting results valid and can we reproduce something like that in reality? Well, answer is no. Problem is uh, that um, uh, Heikinashi candles are not uh, real prices and um, uh, Heikinashi values are calculated by this candle uh, real values and previous candle Heikinashi values and um, you can pretty easy get um, um, a level for a trade that is not reachable in reality. And let's look at this uh, by example. So here I have a short trade and we have a um, pretty big move after it. So I think we, we should see very clear difference in real prices and Heikinashi values. I will open in my layout um, another chart with real prices and let's see what's going on. So here I have um, 10 a.m. A bar and I, I enter here short trades at open and it seems like it open is around uh, 7300 level. And let's find the same bar here. This is 10 a.m. bar. It open here is at 7,100 level. And um, so, and we, if we will trade this uh, strategy in reality only for this trade, we will lose $200. And this will definitely influence our performance and it will be worse, but by how much? So next I want to uh, make small experiment I will um, will get the same um, uh, signals as I get for Heikinashi and will apply it to real prices and uh, this will show us how worse will be our performance to do that I just need to simply um, replace my close values here by Heikinashi close I already have pre-calculated in the strategy and uh, I will change this to usual candles and we'll apply this Heikinashi signals to usual candles. And let's see what will happen. So you can see here that performance is much worse. Now actually we are losing money. We have pretty big drawdown and the strategy doesn't worth uh, trading. And, um, and you should really be super um, careful about using Heikinashi for backtesting because you will always receive wrong results. If you still want to calculate um, your signals based on Heikinashi, you, you can do this by um, getting uh, Heikinashi values uh, from security function, for example, and then use them in your code to generate signals. But you, you should always apply uh, your strategies to usual candles to receive valid results. I think this is all for this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.